Hi everyone, welcome to our Hangout today, which places one of our most innovative systems, the ThinkPad stack, in the spotlight today. My name is Serene and I'm the Community Advocate Program Manager on our on Lenovo Forums and with me on the discussion panel today are three of our brand and forum advocates, Nate Sabin, David Gross and Dave Kennedy, as well as our Global Product Manager for Tablet Accessories, Magni Beck. And they'll be here to shed some more light on the device we unleashed on the wall in CES 2015. So let's take a bit of time to go around the table so you can get to know everyone. Um, starting with Nate. Good evening, everyone from Virginia. Uh, my name is Nate Sarbin. I, as, as Serene says, I'm a Lenovo advocate, a member of Lenovo Insiders Program. I'm also a community moderator on the Lenovo Support Forums. Uh, a bit about me. Technically, I'm a scientist by trade, pharmaceutical industry, moved over into the IT world halfway through that 30 years, essentially, and I've been sort of the techno geek all along. Um, currently, I uh, run operations for a small biotech company here in Virginia uh, where I do everything, sweep the floor all the way to run wires through the ceiling and set up computers for, for, our, for our folks. We're generally in the capital generation phase, so we're, we're early on but uh, it allows me to play with all the new toys. Uh, and in my spare time, I, as Serene mentioned, I moderate the Lenovo support uh, community forums uh, most nights. You'll find me there. Okay, great. Um, next, let's move on to David Gross. Um, in New York, and uh, been a Lenovo fan for, actually, the number of years are growing rapidly. And, uh, you know, I've gotten to try lots of different products from them. It's been a very, very fun ride. Um, personally, I uh, recently graduated with my degree in computer science. I now have a great job where I get to break a bunch of stuff at IBM. And uh, so, always fun being able to do that. Um, I'm also a member of the Lenovo Insiders, along with Nate and uh, Dave over here. And uh, we got to play with the ThinkPad stack, which is the point of the call, which is also a lot of fun. I'm so jealous. Okay. Now, let's go on to Dave Kennedy. <laughs> uh, I'm a support desk manager, an IT consultant for a, an IT firm, uh, IT support and development firm in the northeast, northeast of England called Transcendent. Uh, I primarily work from my home in British Columbia, in Canada. So um, most of my time is spent working from a small office entirely remotely. I've been in the IT industry now about 19 years, working on projects small and large, right up to working for a, a mobile phone uh, service provider in the United Kingdom. Excellent. And now for the man of the hour, can we give a hand to Mr. Matthew Beck, Matt Beck, who is our <laughs> global, global product manager. <laughs> well, thanks, Serene. Uh, yes, uh, uh, it's a pleasure to be here. You know, I'm really excited to, to have a chance to hear and hear your thoughts and feedback on Stack and to tell you a little bit more about it and how it came about. I've been with Lenovo for five years. I've been uh, in accessories. I was uh, I started out in uh, the regional product marketing role uh, working for consumer accessories in North America. And then for the last three years, I've worked on the worldwide product marketing team uh, that, uh, that brings you great exciting accessories like uh, ThinkPad Stack. And so happy to be here and looking forward to our discussion. Okay, great. So, um, as mentioned just now, I know that the three of you, the three panelists on this call, you have gotten your paws on the stack before it was launched. But how many of you actually saw the product during the SCES itself? Just a quick show of hands. Right. Okay, so what was your impression when you first saw it? Who are you asking? Pick somebody. Nate. Hello. You are in the spotlight. Oh, boy. Um, well, so, yeah, I mean, we got some communication about Stack before we actually got to CES, a little bit of a white paper, and so I was immediately interested in it, obviously. I mean, I, I didn't know exactly how big it was going to be. I kind of knew what it was all about, but it was really one of the very first things that I went to go see at the Lenovo product exhibition at Aquinox in, at CES, and it, I went back a number of times just because I was fascinated with it. In fact, I, there was a product manager, a support person standing there I was talking to, and I, was, I kept hoping that he was going to disappear so that, so that the stack could walk away with me. Um, but I mean, I really I was surprised at its size and its modularity, and you know, everybody loves magnets. 
and me too, right? And it's just something, it's something that I always want to just pick it up, use it, figure out how to use it, and I just, it's, it's ThinkPad. That's all I got to say. It's ThinkPad. You have not gotten past your childhood, right? Your fascination mm. with Lego. Legos and magnets. Legos well, and magnets. Matt, could you tell us a little bit about how what went what went on behind the design? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Nate, I think we made it just for you, actually. I think this uh, the whole concept behind magnets and Legos kind of played into the fun aspect of building a, a stack that way. You know, we wanted to make the the magnets obviously strong enough so that they would hold together, but then, you know, weak enough that it was easy to pull them apart. Uh, and then part of the connection also was the, the pogo pins on, on, the, on the device, making it so that it, it easily connects once you put those two devices, you know, or however many stack you have together, so that you have a great connectivity experience as well. Great stuff. Okay, Dave Kennedy, what about you? What, what, what were your thoughts when you first saw it as oh. it? When I first saw the DES, CES, I'm purely selfish. Um, as somebody who travels for work, uh, and I have to take my laptop and my tablet and two phones at a minimum, um, I was just thinking, yeah, this is going to make my life a whole lot easier. That's, you know, and I, and I won't be the only person in that that little niche. I'm taking my office with me, and this just basically takes an office hub with me wherever I go. It's, yeah, I could see big things for it there and then. Okay, great. What about you, David? What were your thoughts when you first saw it? Well, I think when I first saw it, I underestimated it a little bit because if you look on the side, you have these ports to access the various devices individually. So at first, I was thinking, OK, it's next together. That's nice. But then you have to plug all the stuff in still. But then once I actually got to use it, um, the hard drive becomes a network accessible drive. The access point is wireless and battery powers it. So it all essentially can be accessed completely wirelessly, which is phenomenal, especially like Dave says, when you're traveling around, you don't want to pull out something and then plug in 30 wires just to have something running. So it uh, it's subtle in what it does, but it does it well. Great stuff. Um, sorry, jumping back to you, um, Dave, you mentioned, some, so how is it measured up in terms of, of portability? Because you said that you have so many devices to carry when you are working, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, in terms of um, practicality of use, yeah. um, it's actually performed better than I expected it would. Um, I mean, the amount of time I save uh, traveling from place to place, okay, I'm talking about minimum four devices. So I arrive at a destination. I've now got to put in Wi-Fi password phrases onto my phones both of them, my laptop and my tablet. And that's putting that nasty little passphrase that's nice and long and secure on my iPhone keyboard. I don't do that now. They're all configured to use my stack. I rise over the destination. I plug the stack in, turn it on, and I'm working. That's it. My office is set up, and I'm ready to go. It's as simple as that. It's a, there's a lot of time and effort saved there. You know, and, and an extension of that, if, if um, you end up with a consultancy team on a remote site, and you need yep. to set up a group of people who need to share documents, say through you know the wireless NAS capability, and you need secure Wi-Fi. You can walk into another company's site, talk to their IT people, and if they can provide you with RJ45 cable, you know un unrestricted internet and 120 volt or whatever it is wherever you're working, AC power, you can have a, com a con you know a, a confidential team working right there remotely at a, at a customer's site without having to compromise your system essentially by connecting to their systems and, and all of that that goes on. It really does make it much easier to set up for consultancy work. So I I'd, also go, I'd also go one little add-on for that. Uh, the reason I haven't shown my stack on screen here tonight is that my Wi-Fi connection died five minutes before I was due to connect here. My stack is now plugged in in the corner of this apartment Providing my connection to this. Oh, perfect. <laughs> okay, sorry, Nate. Um, you mentioned I know that you are playing around with different permutations and configurations, right? So, what are some of the things you have actually done so far? Well, yeah, it's it's good. I mean, you know, each component individually is pretty straightforward. You've got an external hard drive. You've got a wireless access point and router. I mean, a full-on router. You know. Uh, a, C, B, G, N, the whole thing, fully configurable. The Bluetooth uh, 
uh, speaker plus it's got the mic in it. I haven't used it yet for like conferencing, but I've seen use cases where people do that. And then of course the power bank. Um, I've used it power bank plus Bluetooth speaker to get really long play times really for like streaming music. I've used the power bank plus the router plus the external hard drive to set up a essentially a wireless NAS to stream files off of the storage back to the Bluetooth speaker. And again, I've, you know, I've got use cases in mind for working consultancy off-site where you can set up your team uh, securely separate from your clients networking and, and all of their storage. So the, the power mutations are pretty straightforward. It's four devices. You can use them in any combination that you want. They're all useful. Okay, let's hear from Matney. Um, what are the what do you actually think is the best use case for for the stack then? You know, it's really from based on what uh, what everybody has talked about. It, it really was built for that mobile user. Really, uh, I think the uh, the figure is that you know over fifty percent of small to medium sized businesses have people who travel, right? I and mean, they have have in their businesses that maybe that is the number that travels as well. And, and what we wanted to do was build a, um, a solution that allowed people to not only be able to set up quickly their desk, but also just, uh, you know, if they have this stack sitting on their desk, they just take it. And then if they need to go to a quick meeting, they can take what they need. They don't have to take the whole stack. Maybe they just need the hard drive and the router, or maybe they just need the, uh, the hard drive and, the, uh, and a speaker, you know. Different configurations allowing you just to take exactly what you need. And, and that's really... That was really the focus: is uh, a mobile user and ease and convenience of use. And that goes back to Dave, uh, Dave Gross's comment about no cords. It all connects together with those little pogo pins. Hmm. Great stuff. So I've heard they're all pretty good things. But so let's talk about some of the improvements that you want to see in the next version of the stack. What would you hope to get in the next version, David? Me? This David? <laughs> yeah. Um, one of the things that I thought would be really cool would be a little projector that you can sit on top of it that runs off the stack. Because, um, you know, let's say you're doing a presentation, and I've been in a lot of conference calls and, and meetings and stuff where the projector didn't work right, or they didn't have the right adapter to plug into the projector. So if you have your own little projector that you can slap on top that you can connect to wirelessly, that would be really, really cool. And we've seen you guys cram projectors into tiny things, aka the yoga tablet, so. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're kind of leading the, the pack on that. We did. We, we put a, a projector in, the, in that yoga tablet, and so that's definitely a great suggestion. And, uh, you know, although I can't, I can't uh, disclose or comment on, on future projects, right? But uh, but love love the idea, definitely. Okay, great. What about Dave? Um, for me, I think possibly the uh, the addition of a wireless bridge on the router, um, so that it, at the moment it's primarily through the network cable or through a um, uh, 3G, 4G, USB uh, dongle. But if we had the ability to actually bridge wireless networks, so you arrive on the, on the site and you don't even need to plug in the Ethernet cable to give your stack network connectivity. You're just logging on to your, your wireless network through your laptop and then putting in the credentials to whatever the present wireless network is once and then your router is then bridging onto that client's network or whichever wireless network you have available to you there. Um, it, it just increases the flexibility a little bit and it's even one less, you know, it's the one cable you would plug into the stack if you needed to and it takes that away in a lot of scenarios. Yeah, that's a great suggestion. You know, we we uh, we are really uh, uh, thinking a lot about wireless, as is many of the uh, OEMs out there. But uh, wireless is definitely, I think, you know, in the future uh, for a lot of products. And uh, we're 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 exploring different opportunities of where we could utilize that potentially with this product and with others. What about you, Nate? Well, I'm I'm a I'm kind of a of a power junkie. So while ten thousand milliamp. Uh, milliamp hours is, is a nice remote power bank. I'd like to see it doubled, honestly. I think it could probably be done in a box, even if it has to be 
twice as tall like the, the speaker. Even if you had to crank cram the cells in there, you could get twice the power. And and we already see people who are trying to charge three phones, and they're trying to run all kinds of things, and never never have enough power. Uh, additionally, we're starting to see some commentary in the community forums about how people would, in fact, in, you know, improve the product. And one of them is a bigger hard drive, because now you see two and a half or two terabyte drives in 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 these external enclosures. People are talking about taking the hard drive enclosure apart and trying to slap in a bigger hard drive already. So that you know, so the the, the geeks are already talking about it. Um, the, the, and the last thing I kind of would say is, you know, for, for us, for the folks on this call, we're, we're the propeller heads. I mean, we'll open things up and we'll try anything. But one thing that could really be worked on a little bit is the documentation around the stack itself, especially the router piece. Because if you read the, the, ThinkPad, the ThinkPad stack assistant warns you that if you're switching to advanced mode, you will no longer be able to use the ThinkPad Stack Assistant to control the router. Uh, I haven't done that yet be, to just go look at the settings and build my own manual. But if somebody could write that manual so that people like me wouldn't have to guess, that'd be great. Especially for people who uh, aren't so technically inclined. No, that's, that's great feedback. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, very much, uh, you know, we, you can't think about mobility without thinking power, right? I mean, everybody right. who's on the go, uh, you know, running from one uh, meeting to the next or on the road, you definitely need that source of power, and that's certainly something that I think that, you know, our, our focus is there as well. Um, I, you know, can't, like I said, you know, I mean, I think we're, we're, we're looking at the options and how we can improve that uh, going down the road. But, uh, but I think that uh, you're, you're definitely right on, on the documentation. I think we want to make sure that the documentation is there and that uh, it's, it's easy to understand and people like, you can really just pick it up and, and uh, you know, we try to make it as intuitive as possible. But, right. uh, but definitely, uh, I think making, crossing that over into the documentation would be a great, uh, great help as well. Okay, Perfect. guys, what, what about the, how it looks and feels? Are you guys happy with that or are there things that you want changed? David, I know you said something about it earlier. Yeah. Well, I mean, all in all, I would say it, it does, it very much fits in with the look of the ThinkPad. You have your ThinkPad and you have ThinkPad stack, and they definitely go together. So it's well designed in, in that way. Um, I don't know what I said if I said anything <laughs> before. <laughs> about, about. How about putting it in a bag and, and carrying it around? Oh, yeah. Okay. So what, one of the issues is when you put it in a try to put it in a bag in this lovely carrying pouch that you get, it's kind of awkward in the bag, and so you know you're kind of jamming it in there. And like I have this lovely slim ThinkPad bag that's very slim, which is great except for when you try and put the stack in there because then it's not really slim anymore. So one of the comments that were mentioned actually while we were at CES, I don't really remember who, and I had kind of thought of it more recently, and then Nate brought it up, was if we had some sort of a pouch that you could like slide the individual pieces into flat, and then you could slide like the whole pouch in. That way it lays flush, more like, you know, a laptop rather than this big brick. Maybe get a shell that goes on top of the ThinkPad that you slide it into. <laughs> yeah, so definitely think about accessories for the stack. I mean, that's that's a great point, David. I mean, a great device, but you can always think about accessories to go with it. it, it you know, you guys are hitting on some great points because uh, that's one thing that I think that we had actually considered to begin with is is you know, can we make an, uh, like a, almost a case, some case that would help you to to carry the stack in. And I think, you know, based on what I understand, the reasoning behind the pouch is primarily, uh, number one, the bulk is not there, right? We looked at kind of a flat laying pouch, and it just kept adding more and more mass to, to the product. And we wanted to really kind of stay true to that mobility aspect and that, in that uh, um, and, and uh the uh, just the uh, the simpleness of the product, and I think that's what the pouch does. And the other the other reason for the pouch as well is is if you decide to only take two of the two of the devices, 
uh, the pouch still works, right? You yeah. you can just throw them in the pouch, and you can just tie it up and and go. And uh, so, but certainly something to think about. I mean, I think as we as we expand, uh, you know, into other parts of this uh, particular product, we we would certainly look at maybe doing something along those lines. Yeah, I would I would say that it's very user dependent because I do like the pouch, especially if it's something that you're going to have, let's say, on your desk or you want to put away, or if you do have a bigger bag. The pouch is really nice. It keeps it all together. Not that the pouch is bad, but there have been times when I have, like, really slim, like, I'm trying to minimize the size of my bag. It's a really slim bag. That's the use case when I run into a problem. But the pouch, don't get me wrong, I don't hate the pouch. Yeah, just... Yeah, the pouch works fine if, if you're a backpack carrier, kind of like I am. I've given up the, the whole satchel uh, briefcase modality, uh, but it works fine for a backpack. But I can, but I also often carry two and sometimes three laptops. Uh, usually now, because as they're getting thin in the ultra bulk model, they're thin. So you know, when I used to carry an A31P and a T60P, now think about how thick that is. It's maybe it's thicker than the stack, probably stacked. Then it becomes a problem. But if you had a sleeve that laid flat for all four devices, it wouldn't be much thicker than, say, a laptop. And the two of them could go into it. the laptop sleeve in a backpack or in a set or in a you know messenger case pretty easily. Uh, but depends, like like David yeah. said, it depends on what you use it and how you how you operate. Yeah. Excellent feedback. Okay, uh, we had actually opened up a thread in the in the Lenovo forums, also asking for suggestions, uh, and we had um, another insider who had the opportunity to test drive um, a stack itself, Adam Fowler. A special shout out to him. So he actually made this commentary, and he said there is a limit of five stack devices at once, according to the documentation. He linked, he did a review on it. Um, so he's asking about this that in. Theory that could mean one power brick and four HDDs, um, and that you will be able to software rate pretty much anything else these days. But you need four USB three ports, or you're sharing a single USB three bus amongst more than one drive. A lot of information there, but um, his question is this: He goes, he thinks beyond anything beyond rate one, you will be mirroring your data, so that there are, there may be better solutions out there. Is this correct? You know, I, I think, uh, you know, a, a, a right solution would be pretty cool, actually. You know, I think that would uh, that would be really something that we could, you know, be really neat to see. However, I think with, with Stack itself, just based on the the, the, the use case intent uh, on this product, it, it just, you know, it really doesn't, you know, we're focused on that mobile individual. You know, any kind of a right solution really kind of ties it back to more of a stationary use, I think. And, and that's probably... A lot of the reason why we haven't pursued, you know, a you know a huge, you know, stack of HDD drives on that power bank to 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 provide that RAID solution. It mm -hmm. might open up a, a companion type product for something like the ThinkStation line, though, uh, where you have say uh, CAD uh, professionals working in teams on a client site. Something like that would give them resilience on uh, drawings and things they were working on. Yeah, that's a great thought. Okay, um, let's see if there are any more comments from the panelists for Matt, because I know we have him here and he's taking notes on all your feedback. I am. <laughs> I'm going to ask a purely gratuitous question. Since, since we're here, can we get early access to anything new you're doing? And I know you can't, I know you can't answer that, but I've got to ask it anyway, right? We'll just we'll do our email. email. Request, you know. I mean, there's there's no harm in asking, right? We'll send you our shipping <laughs> addresses. Can we do that? <laughs> All Celine, right. could you forward those over to him, please? <laughs> but of course. <laughs> you. <laughs> okay. So anyway, um, I think that's it for today. Uh, thanks. Thank you, everybody who came here today. Uh, if you have any questions. Matt Nee and his team will be actually online in our forums to answer your questions. If you have suggestions, just post it in there, and then uh, we will try and act on them. So thank you once again, everybody, for being on this call and for watching this as well. Um, so do join us on forums.lenovo.com and be part of our community. So signing off, over and out. Thanks, everybody. Thank, thank you. you. Okay.